Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I talk about the NWSL, women's soccer, just soccer, only soccer. So, little late getting around to doing this video. I had a lot going on, a lot of NWSL and soccer news that I had to, that I was um, working on and writing scripts for. So yeah, I am late getting around to doing this video, but I have time now, so I'm going to be talking about it. So more information surrounding the resignation of Fareed Bensteady had been released last Friday, October 1st, in an OL Reign Zoom press conference. Those participating in the press conference included Bill Pradmore, owner of OL Reign, and players Jess Fishlock and Lauren Barnes. So let me give you a little background about Fareed Bensteady and O.L. Reign or his hiring to O.L. Reign. Fareed was hired to coach O.L. Reign back in 2020. This hiring came with some controversy because Lindsey Horan, U.S. Women's National Team and Portland Thorns midfielder, came forward saying Fareed had body shamed her when she was 18, fresh out of high school, and was playing for PSG. I already did a video a few months ago talking about and detailing the abuse Lindsay Horan went through, and I will link that video below that video below if you would like to watch it. Horan says though when she was playing for PSG, she was sitting on the team bus and one of her teammates took out a chocolate bar. Fareed or one of his coaching staff came over to them and told the teammate that she couldn't have the chocolate bar or the candy bar around Lindsay because it'll tempt her. Another incident Haran talked about was dieting to the point she had no energy because Fareed and the coaching staff kept calling her out on her weight and kept telling her that she was fat and needed to lose weight. And I want to emphasize like how dangerous that is. Dieting to the point where you have no energy is extremely dangerous, especially when you're a professional athlete and have to do rigorous training and exercising. No nutritionist, no personal trainer, no athletic trainer would ever recommend a player like stop eating and having no energy. Like that is that is very dangerous and no no qualified trainer or nutritionist would ever recommend that. Now that we know who we're dealing with, and even though Lindsay Horan came forward with her story, Fareed was still hired to coach O.L. Reign. Reign fans and NWSL fans weren't too happy about the hiring because they were thinking that if Fareed was body shaming Lindsay Horan when she was at PSG, he could do the same thing to the Reign players. And I'm here to tell you guys that is kind of what happened. Fareed had a formal complaint filed against him by a player on the Reign team for verbal abuse. Fareed allegedly made inappropriate comments to players, regard to players regarding their fitness and nutrition. The incident, according to Predmore, happened during a team meeting two days before the Reign were supposed to play against the Houston Dash on July 2nd. The key word, the key word here is players. Fareed allegedly made inappropriate comments to the whole Rain team about their nutrition and fitness, and one player made a formal complaint. Predmore went on to suspend Fareed. Then he did his own investigation into the incident, asking Rain players about what Fareed said and probably asking them about the incident in question. After 48 hours, players, oh wait, after 48 hours, Predmore decided Fareed could no longer coach the Reign team. So he asked Fareed for his, for his resignation, and that was that. Fareed gives his resignation, and the Reign team is then taken care of by Sam Lady until, okay, he was take Sam Lady, the assistant coach, would go on to take care of O.L. Reign until Laura Harvey came back and took over the role of head coach. And that's where we are today with this rain team. Honestly, 
Honestly, <laughs> I am not really surprised at all. I'm not surprised to learn that Fareed was made to resign because he made inappropriate and disparaging comments to the Rain team. In the first video I did on OL Rain, I was guessing the reason why he resigned was because he made inappropriate comments to the Rain team or to the Rain players. I thought Fareed was probably treating some of the Rain players like he treated Lindsay Horan when she was playing for PSG. Like, even some Rain fans figured that's why he resigned in the first place. Um, one, I can't, I think it was on Reddit. <laughs> um, one person on Reddit, I remember in a post, basically said, yeah, I figured he, Fareed, must have, must have called the players fat. Honestly, given what Lindsay Horan had to deal with when it came to Fareed, it could have gone beyond just calling the players fat. Anyway, Fareed resigned, but according to Jess Fishlock, the Rain team didn't know that he was made to resign for that reason. The team thought Fareed was resigning because of how badly OL Rain was performing, which upon outside appearances would have made perfect sense as well. <laughs> Around Fareed's time coaching OL Rain, the Rain team wasn't doing too well. They were number nine in the NWSL standings and looking at past formations, Fareed kept changing up the formation almost every game. Um, the team appreciated and liked that Predmore acted very quickly, but they wanted transparency. They want to know the truth of why Fareed was made to resign. Again, they thought it was because of performance. Just Fishlock says, we have to have things in place, not just for not just from football, but society. That if somebody behaves in a way that is so unacceptable, then that has to be made public so it cannot happen again. Predmore does say he accepts full responsibility for hiring Fareed despite knowing and hearing about what Fareed did and said to Lindsay Horan. Predmore said in a press conference he tried to put up guardrails to prevent Fareed from doing and saying the things that he did to Lindsay Horan. So Predmore went on to hire a team nutritionist and dietitian, people who are actually qualified to talk about nutrition and can put players on diets that are beneficial to that individual player and their bodies, and their body, I mean. And after that, Predmore then said that he also had a zero tolerance policy with Fareed, which I'm guessing, I don't know for sure, could have been something along the lines of, if you body shame the rain team, then you're done. <laughs> I honestly, I don't know what Fareed was thinking, like making rude comments to the whole Rain team about their fitness and nutrition. But then again, this guy got away with it for so long. Lindsay Horan said he would insult her and other players in front of the whole PSG team. And he would get away with it with no consequences. Fareed probably thought he could get away with insulting the Rain team because he did it before to Lindsay Horan and PSG, and he faced no consequences. If people don't face the consequences of their actions, of course they're just going to do it again. <laughs> anyway, I am glad Predmore took this seriously. He investigated the claims, found that Fareed was not fit for the Rain team, and made him resign. Ola Rain is doing so much better without him. The team is under Laura Harvey and assistant coach Sam Lady, and they're doing well under both of them. Harvey is mainly keeping this team in a 4-3-3 formation, which is good because it's familiar to the players and they seem comfortable playing in it. So yeah, this was a team that went from number one, I mean, <laughs> that went from number nine in the season's NWSL standings to number two. So very impressive, nice comeback.
You know, if Predmore didn't take action when he did, OL Reign might still be at the bottom of the league, and we would probably have a few Reign players coming forward talking about how they were body shamed by Fareed. I'm glad it didn't get to that point, and I'm really glad Predmore stopped, like, stopped it quickly. Yes, he could have done the team a solid by not by not hiring Fareed in the first place, but I do appreciate Predmore for holding himself accountable, admitting he made a mistake, and then working to fix it and make things right. We need to see more of that from the other owners in the NWSL and from the NWSL itself. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later.